Hey guys, welcome back to Coach G World. Today we're going to be looking at ways to create a waterfall effect on a photo. Um, you can see this uh, random highway is just giving off the impression of a waterfall and this is very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it and let's get started. So first thing in this file right here, you know, we've imported our image. It's just, you know, a standard uh, nighttime photography effect and it's got light trails and this is a cool photo as is but we want to go ahead and go for that waterfall effect so first thing we want to do is select the rectangular marquee tool it's in our toolbox over here or you can press the letter m for the shortcut to activate it really quick i'm going to select a portion of this image that i want to apply that waterfall effect to so i think that little area right there is what we're going to go with and as you can see our layers menu right over here has just that one image. I'm gonna press Control J first, and that's going to add a new layer with that selected portion that we had. Now, the bounding box and all the selection went away, so I wanna press Control T and bring that back up because what we wanna do right now is go to our perspective transform option. So we go to edit, transform, and perspective okay so edit transform perspective once we have that you see these points at the bottom of the little box the bounding box we have um, activated that little section when the cursor goes solo white see it's like black right there and then we got it white and it's ready to go so what I want to do is just click and drag to the center obviously and you can see what's happening once I've reached a point where I feel like the drop off looks good and looks like what I want, I can just release and press enter to make that change. Now, obviously we're gonna need to do some cropping on these edges right here. So we're gonna either press C or go over to our toolbox once again and find the crop tool. And these little edges right here are what we're gonna do to drag in drag that side in I don't really want the sign as you see on the left side right there I don't want the sign in the finished photo so that's our point right there and we'll go with let's try this crop right there so yeah that looks pretty good and that has the waterfall effect but there's a few more things we can do to this layer that are going to enhance the image overall. So first thing we wanna do is go to our effects, our blending options, and go to a gradient overlay. So I've got my gradient overlay set at the black to a transparent. The opacity is at six. I've scaled it down to 47%. Uh, the angle's at negative 89, negative 90 would be fine, whatever. And you know, just so that's with it applied. You can see it's very subtle, but it's got that little, um, edge that really pops so if I don't have it that's what it looks like if I apply it that's what it looks like so look at that one more time without and then with so it looks much better we'll go ahead and click OK and again there's one more thing we can do actually there's a lot but for this the effect that we're going for we want to go ahead and go to blur on that same layer make sure it's selected we're gonna go to motion blur this time and with preview selected I've got it at five pixels already because I've done this before and it was set that way but if it's something like this for you automatically don't you know don't worry just make some adjustments to the slider it's no big deal and um, you want it subtle you don't want a big I mean it's art so whatever you want would be uh, workable if it's you know what you desire but we're trying to make it kind of realistic in a way so I just went with like five, four, five, or six would be good. Again, I mean, it's very subtle, so it's not drastic. That's the trick, you know. You don't wanna make it too distracting from the overall image. So that's without, it's again, and that's with. So there you go, press okay, and that's it. You know, that's basically the gist of this waterfall effect. That's how you get it. You know, there's, some other things you can do if we wanted to adjust some of these colors um, why not let's go ahead and throw a uh, gradient layer over it and let's go to these purples and 
watch what happens. So that's a gradient fill. So it's like a whole new layer. I wanna go ahead and go switch that normal view to, let's see. I mean, you could enhance it like that with overlay. That's, that's before, that's after. I mean, these are just subtle changes you can do to affect the overall image for whatever you're trying to do for your own artwork. But that's the waterfall effect. Before I go off and um, start customizing a whole bunch more, this is what we wanted to achieve. Very simple steps to get that. And again, make sure that if you know when you're finding your image, you find an image with the proper perspective, or if you're taking the photo yourself, you you know set it up kind of like this. If your desired effect is like a head-on uh, waterfall, but you know, this came out pretty good. And there's some things that we could do better. We could, you know, adjust the crop on the edge here so it's not too much of a cut off, but overall, not bad. So I hope you learned something. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. Always um, appreciate all my subscribers. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time, take it easy, peace.